Every single person has a defined idea of what they think is possible or impossible, a boundary in their mind that they don't go near, which is probably put there to keep them safe. It's these beliefs that we inherit or pick up as we age that define many of the decisions we make or choose not to make throughout our lives. I decided on the idea of running across Dartmoor because initially I didn't decide on it. I disregarded it outright in my mind because the whole idea was so alien a concept to me that I ended up shelving the idea completely. But that got me thinking. Why did I have this reaction to it? And at what other points in my life have these moments gone unnoticed to me, denying me the opportunity to push that protective boundary a little further? This is the story, not perhaps of Dartmoor, or the crossing of the finish line at the end, but the crossing of the boundary that no one likes to cross. The one that's put there to keep them safe. The one that everyone, once in a while, should try pushing just a little further out. Dartmoor is a national park in the southwest of England that covers 954 square kilometres. It's so vast that if you look at medieval maps, there's just a blank space where Dartmoor should be. During the first lockdown, I found myself lying awake at night craving adventure. My plan was to run from Oakhampton in the north, all the way down to Ivy Bridge in the south. The route was roughly 50 kilometres, and I'd chosen it because I'd never run an ultramarathon before and I needed something that was going to keep me focused and excited. I wanted to capture the idea that no matter how bad things can get, there is always a way through if you put your mind to it. I hope this short film can do that feeling justice. Uh, we are just about to get out onto Dartmoor, out onto the moor. Um, this is Ball Hill Viaduct. Ooh, as you can see, yeah, this is the start point for traversing Dartmoor, uh, which happens tomorrow morning. It's pretty spectacular actually, I wasn't quite expecting it to be as beautiful, uh, which is probably going to slow me down, which isn't a bad thing because I'll be looking at everything. Uh, but so far, so good, I've been waiting to be able to see what it looks like, even though I've been training for this, not being able to see the terrain whilst I'm training for it has 
made it this kind of dark thing in my mind where it's just, I suppose, fear of the unknown when actually looking around. Not really sure, so far at least, what I was meant to be afraid of. Yeah, so she's doubling back. Yeah. Huh? I'm gonna take the high road. Fucking wow. <laughs> Fucking wow This is the outward route from the first um, checkpoint, I suppose. This is the first point where I see the team uh, for a refuel. Uh, so we're just leaving Postbridge, basically, and we're heading up here to Belle of a Tour. Um, at this point, I hope I'm still feeling good. I'll probably try and take this opportunity between now and Coombston Tour to drink a bit more and then I get that second refill before I then head off for the rest of the, uh, the rest of the run down to Ivy Bridge. Um, this is Belle of a Tour, the iconic bits of Dartmoor. I'm going to go straight up the side, which you can see, and then I'm going to go straight down the other side, and then I'm off to Dart Meet and Coombston Tour, which is checkpoint number two to find the team again. I think the harder bit really uh, is coming up just beyond Coombston Tour, so I think everything at this point, or at least so far on this run, would have been okay. Uh, so it's about 28 degrees at the moment. Um, I think the best possible outcome is to avoid the heat so uh, with any luck I'll be finished by this time tomorrow um, I think from a safety point of view probably a good idea not to run uh, in the in the prolonged heat I know people do uh, you know five days do the Sahara but um, <laughs> haven't um, I suppose had the most relevant amount of heat training recently Basically, this tree as a marker is quite useful. Thank you. 
finish line for tomorrow. I'm going to turn around and show you guys the view. Just check that out. <laughs> so yeah, starting in that um, forest at the top in Oakhampton, all the way down to here tomorrow. 50k. I'm going to set off at 5.45 in the morning to try to avoid some of the uh, 30 degree heat. So yeah, I will see you all tomorrow. Here's the start line. It's a good bike kiss. There we go. He's off. Good luck, Henry! Okay, I can't quite believe it, but I have set off on traversing Dartmoor my challenge for 2021 to complete an ultra run across the whole of Dartmoor National Park. I'm currently at Ball Hill Viaduct, which is the starting point. I'm going to run to Postbridge as my next route stop for the team. Yes. From there over to Coombston Tour and then from Coombston Tour all the way down to Ivy Bridge. It's about 50k. Uh, the weather has been interesting because yesterday was the hottest day of the year so far. Uh, and it was 29 degrees here and it's going to be the same again today. So it's basically quarter to six at the moment. I think it's about 17 degrees. I'm trying to beat the heat basically. That is the aim. Unbelievable. Why am I not just staying here for swim? Oh, it's not like that. 
uh, self-inflicted, I suppose. Okay, first bit done, forest section over. There's the bridge, and that is the start of the moor. Here we go. So here it is. This is the side of the moor. I'm gonna go up that hill and then it's straight out that way. Okay, made it out of the forest, which down there. Um, I have found the top of the ridge line where I need to be. The sun's coming up over the ridge line now. It's gonna get very hot. So need to get a shuffle on. This is where I'm going. Heading towards the danger area at the moment. That's the next bit on the map that I need to get to. Oh look, here's a timely reminder that that person right there is the only person that you're really ever competing with. I keep saying to myself in my head, if today is going to get difficult, is that the main point of it is to enjoy it. So that's what I'm going to do basically. Finding the enjoyment. I mean, I'm doing that. Is Oak Tour, I believe. So that's where we're going. Okay, I have just got behind Oak Tour and look at the view back. Not a single person. For miles. I think I've been trying to find this bit really. <laughs> it is incredible. So you can see the route going down the hill and then up the hill. Okay, got to go down the hill now. 
and then you can see the route already pretty much going straight up the other side great Unbelievable, I've gone seven kilometers, it's taken me an hour so far. Because this is what I'm dealing with. Yeah. Alright. Probably gonna have to go to deep rest at some point. It is dark more after all. Although actually that looks like it's okay. Don't speak too soon. Right. Up there. Gotta get a move on. Okay, so this is Hangingston Hill, and this is the highest point on the first bit of all this elevation. Have a look at the view. That's where I came from. Pretty amazing. I mean, you see it from this high up. So this is basically pretty much the halfway point of this first section. I'm an hour and a bit in. I go down the other side of this hill and all the way down to Postbridge. After that just stood in a nice wet cow pad. Thanks mate. Okay, I am leaving the danger zone. I'm now heading over to Sitterford Tor, which you can just see poking out over the top of that horizon. So, once I hit Sitterford, straight across from there until I find a bridle path and I'll find some stone circles and then that path goes right down into Postbridge, and that is rendezvous point number one. Feeling pretty good so far. It's still not super hot, and pretty pleased because the first section that uh, I did earlier is all, I suppose, of the, the difficult elevation for the day. It does go back up again. Um, beyond Coombston Tor, uh, but not quite as high, so quite pleased actually that, well, once I get this bit out of the way, <laughs> it should be okay. This bit in between Bella Vitor and Coombston Tor is also pretty steep, but I'll just take it on as it comes and find the enjoyment in it. It's not hard if you enjoy it. <laughs> nice little brook. Um, I think I'll just step across from here if possible. Yep. Yep. There you go. That's good. Didn't get completely soaked. Well, this bit is actually quite wet. Okay, everyone, I am at Sitterford Tor. I've got to find, I think, a style. Ah, oh, it's up there. Ha. There it is. So, here we go, Sitterford Tor. Oh, in fact, I'm sure it's a tour, I think it's just a hill. There we go. Hey, incredible. Unbelievable. Okay, down we go. There we go. 
carry on. Oh my god, I don't know if you can see, but those are the stone circles. I have been pretty excited to have a look at these. <laughs> Okay everyone, I am on Heartland Tour, which means I am cresting the hill to run down into Post Bridge. Let's stand up on here, see what we can see. Yeah, here we go. Right. Wow, look at that. Okay, on we go down to Post Bridge. Meet the team. So well. Uh, um, where does this go in the back? Uh, what is that? Sorry, the the flask. Yeah, just put it. Um, so the Dartmoor map is still against my back, basically. So that's the flat thing that's against my back. Halfway point of Postbridge, Henry. How are you feeling? Feeling really good. Oh, yeah. Just before the halfway point. Sorry. Yeah. So this is tw this is 20k. Um, first rendezvous point. Feeling good. Managed to finish all three hydration packs on the way over here. Amazing. Um, so I don't feel like I'm struggling at the moment basically just trying to mitigate the fatigue that is awesome so, yeah no, I'm so good. awesome I'm good. you ready um, to set off again I think so I was just gonna see you at Coombston tour see you at Coombston tour guys 20 p.m. in I can't do the maths on the rest of it. Doing amazing. Yeah. Go, buddy, go. No, so <laughs> kind of here together where they, they, they'll just out-bitch each other, really. Woohoo! So having someone coming in like Molly just going. Okay, so I've just left the first rendezvous point with the team. Stocked up all three hydration packs. And I'm now on the way to Belle of a Tour. Um, and then once I'm over that, straight down to Dark Meat. Well, not into Dark Meat, over Weekford. And then up to Coombston Tour for the next rendezvous point. And in the forest at the moment. 
Okay, there it is. Bell of a tour. That thing. I'll go right over the top of that, down the other side, where I find a road. We're on the road for a little bit, and then I turn off the road onto a little public footpath, and then I find a nice little ford with some stepping stones over it. And then once I'm over that, it's all uphill to Coombston Tor. This is the middle section, which I've not been dreading, but the elevation is literally like this. So, so yeah, so uh, even though I actually do get to refill up the other side of it, so I kind of get to drink as much as I like on this bit. Um, so that's good. The heat is starting to pick up a bit now, so need to keep moving before it gets to 30 degrees. Okay, I have left Bell of a Tour behind on the horizon. You can see it just there. And I'm now heading down to find the road that goes into Dartmeet. Once I'm on the road, then go down into that little bit to find the weak ford. And I'm gonna put my feet in the cold water because it is getting quite hot now and I'm just over the halfway point. You're good? Yeah. It's starting to get quite hot now. Yeah. 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 It's alright, I'm drinking lots. Maybe. 
amazing. See you, Kingston. Currently running down a bit to get to Weak Forge. There are these little rocks everywhere, so I'm basically stumbling every other step. But looking forward to standing in the river. For a minute or two. Because I think my big toe on my right foot has a nice surprise for me. I think the nail might be falling off as we speak. A little bit sore. Sore would be an understatement, but keep that to myself for now I think. And wow, here we go. Second fuel stop. How are we feeling? Hot. Very hot. Very hot. Coombston Tour. Henry has just run from the horizon. Bella for Tour. Just over there. Okay guys, last stage of the run today. Henry is about to set off on the last 20k. Yep, you got this. You can smash it. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, amazing. Go Henry! See you at the finish line! Can't wait for a beer. Okay. I have left the last Rendezvous with the team. So I'm 32 kilometers in at the moment, I think. It's really hot. And I'm back on a climb up to uh, where are we now? Heading to Riders Hill, I think. Riders Hill, which is 510 meters, which is basically where I've just come up. Can you see how high we are? It's been 
a serious climb up the side of that hill, just out the back of Coombston Tor car park, so I'm power hiking this section. As soon as I get to a rider's hill, cut straight across to Booper's Hill. Okay, I've just power walked up Riders Hill. There is the Trig Point, surrounded by some friends. I won't disturb them. But there it is, so this is 510 meters. And now I need to find a good cross to Booper's Hill. 33k in. Look at that view. It's very hot. It's not bad for power hiking up the side of a hill. Okay, it's all mindset now. My feet are really painful. Oh, I cannot believe the temperature. It's a bit unfair, really. Well, it's not unfair. It is what it is situation that you find yourself in. What's the phrase? It's how you react to the situation that you find yourself in. I do think it's everyone's privilege that they get to choose that. Not everybody does. Okay, just come from Riders Hill and now I'm on the top of Poopers Hill. There's a nice boggy bit down in the middle but it's nice and hot today so it wasn't too bad. Have a look a bit. Wow. Okay so that is my track. I head off down there. I can see some people. Are they people? Who knows we'll find out. And then off in that direction. So many people have asked me why I'm running 50 kilometers across Dartmoor. Um, and I'm not entirely sure that I actually have a complete answer or reason as to why I'm doing this. I think part of it is the last year and more that everyone's been through. Um, I feel like, for me at least, um, for me at least, I think I wanted something positive to look forward to. Um, and something that was going to keep me um, focused and committed. So on a surface level, that's one of the reasons. I also kind of want to demonstrate that, you know, you can do amazing things with your body if you let it. Everything starts with your mental health. So, if you can look after everything that's going on up here and spend more time thinking about that, because everyone has mental health. It's not something that we talk about when it goes wrong. And unfortunately, it is at the moment. It's something that we talk about when it goes wrong. And actually, that's not the case. Mental health is universal. It's something that unites absolutely everyone in the world because it is so important that we talk about it more rather than having this stigma surrounding it. I went through a stage at university uh, of anxiety and depression. It doesn't mean that there's something wrong with me. Um, and I know that I'm absolutely not alone. I know there are millions and millions and millions of people um, who still to this day are struggling with their mental health, but nobody talks about it. And that's a shame. And that's something that we need to change. 
so partly a part of this run is the fact that I'm raising money for the Charlie Watkins Foundation. Um, Charlie was a family member of mine, uh, he's my cousin, and he took his own life uh, in his last year at university, which is a very stressful time for a lot of people. Um, and the pressure sometimes gets too much. 37k, there we go. Can't tell you how good it is to hear that. So the Charlie Watkins Foundation raises money for student minds. Student minds are now present, uh, I think, in every university uh, in the UK now. Um, but the Charlie Watkins Foundation doesn't just focus on university students. Um, it also focuses um, on looking after the most vulnerable children in society as well, um, looking after their mental health as well. So it's not just for university students. Um, it's a fantastic charity. And any donation that you want to give to it will make a huge difference to someone's life. I can't tell you the difference it will make. In fact, it might actually make the difference between them actually having their life. I have been looking forward to this bit. In fact, I've done this a few times now because it is literally 28 degrees now. So I'm going to try and carry some cooling water with me. so beautiful here. I might stay. Hope nobody misses me. Okay everyone, so I was just trying to see where the bridge was and these two have given it away somewhat. <laughs> there we go. Let's have a look, shall we? Hello, can I come across the hardest bit of Dartmoor so far? None shall pass. Holy shit, this guy looks like a mean motherfucker. Hello, I would like to cross your bridge please. Thank you. Okay, that went better than expected. Whew. Could have been it. <laughs> oh my god. Can you see how steep the hill is? That I've just come up. That was brutal, that's the worst bit. Oh. oh my god, my glutes are fried. To be honest, everything at this point is fried. Oh. Let's keep going. Come on, Henry. You literally just gotta get to the finish line. Okay, that sign there, the two moors way means that that track that you can see takes me all the way to the finish line. So here we go. I am about nine, ten kilometers. Last bit. Last bit. I think ultra running, not that, I mean this is my first ultra. Never gone beyond marathon before might be the only sport that makes your feet hurt, your knees hurt, your hips, glutes, stomach, and gives you a headache at the same time.
Okay, so I was initially pleased to see this track, but the heat bouncing off it is getting a bit unbearable. It is so hot. Uh, and I am really sweating now. I've got about seven kilometers to go. I've got one fluid 500 mil bag remaining. So that should, fingers crossed, be okay. Give it a K or two. Uh, but yeah, I am struggling from the heat at the moment. It's not super pleasant. Hey everyone. Okay, so I've got my mojo back a little bit now. Um, this is the last few kilometers I'm on. 46 kilometers. Got the sea breeze coming in now. It's cooling me down a little bit. So my ultra adventure is nearly at an end. Um, I think all I want to say is I want you to know whoever you are wherever you're watching this I want you to know that you are far more capable of what you probably give yourself credit for please don't just watch this go and do stuff because all of this is here it's all waiting for you so don't wait for it so here we are at the finish line um, Antonia and I have uh, driven around Dartmoor and arrived at Ivy Bridge where we're meeting Henry at the edge of the moor. And uh, <laughs> it sounds really stupid, but it's been an amazing journey for us. Um, seriously, it's been an amazing journey watching him do this. It's, um, it's been really overwhelming, I think, for me and Antonio watching the kind of terrain that he's had to go through. Um, the recce yesterday, we got to see parts of the route, and I certainly wasn't prepared for what he would be running through. The elevation is insane. Um, and and then the heat that we were experiencing yesterday, I think we were all feeling a bit like sunbeaten last night. Um, so we took the decision for him to set off at 5.45 this morning, and I think it was a good one, but even now it's extremely hot, one of the hottest days of this year. And it's so exposed out on the moor. Um, and I, I just think this is a real feat of endurance. Um, and I think we make a lot of assumptions about Henry that, you know, he's a personal trainer, he's an extremely fit guy. So him running across 50 kilometers, him running 50 kilometers across Dartmoor, that's, totally doable for him but I think this will have been extremely tough for him and um, yeah I'm blown away that he's he's done it um, he's about five kilometers away now it's crazy he's run 45k <laughs> uh, pretty much without stopping only a couple of five minute stops really um, and yeah, in the next half hour, he'll be with us at the finish line. So it's time for us to go and meet him. Um, we have a little bit of a climb. We've been waiting in the shade. <laughs> Antonia's here. Hi, Antonia. Hi. And we have to go up the side of the moor to meet him. Um, just over that rise that you can see where we agreed where the finish line is. It's going to be amazing. Um, yeah, I can't wait to chat to Henry about how he's felt about it all when we see him in a bit. Um, yeah, very, very special day.
the ice. She's finished 50k across Dartmoor. Hi. <laughs> How are you feeling? Um, <coughs> a bit overwhelmed actually. I don't think it's really sunk in yet. Um, it's how I feel really. So, yeah, I mean, I, my legs are battered. <laughs> yeah. um, mind took a battering out there on the second half, but that I think is expected when it's like this. So, yeah, I mean, I feel amazing, I have to say. I don't really care how I feel physically. I was actually elated to see the two of you, yeah, definitely. Um, so, um, in fact, at all the points that we met, and that made a massive difference today. So, yeah, absolutely. I'm just really, really, um, I'm really, really pleased that this plan came together, actually, more than anything. It's, uh, yeah, it's incredibly satisfying. I had to at some points remind myself that you know I'd chosen to do this it wasn't as if I was being forced to and um, yeah I don't think um, you know I don't think anyone should be afraid to try these kind of things and um, you know to not um, not push the boundaries so to speak because you know 50k is definitely a, achievable but you know I don't think most people give themselves enough credit for what they can do so um, I hope that uh, anyone that watches this might reconsider what they think is possible for them definitely because i'm not a natural runner definitely <laughs> so yeah highest point probably how good i felt coming to post bridge um and then also finishing just now and seeing you guys lowest point probably leaving coombson toward going back up uh, the massive hills up onto riders hill yeah. um, and then what i thought was going to be an easy run down into here was just almost endless large dirt gravel that aside, it's just the heat. The heat really got to me, and uh, a few points I did feel quite low, but um, with the lows come the highs. <laughs> so, um, and the, the, exactly, and I had to check myself sometimes and just think that actually, like I said, you know, I'm, I'm doing this out of choice. And my mantra on the way around was, "Am I enjoying this?" And if the answer was no, I would slow down to make it easier. And that's how I basically just managed myself away. Massive congratulations! <laughs> Thank you very much. Enjoy that bath shower that you. So well. <laughs> yeah, yeah.